All right, the American President is a movie which I've been watching for a long time now. It's probably one of the best uh, romantic movies that I've seen. Uh, period. Um, this is a movie that's also directed by Rob Reiner, and I say this with a little pinch of irony to myself. Um, if anybody was old enough to remember the North movie that came out in, uh, I think, 94 or 95, I can't remember which, uh, he directed that. Everybody really hated that movie for how stupid it was, and his name was just synonymous with uh, bottom of the barrel. And uh, then, ironically, the year after that movie came out, he turned around and he made this, and it's really one of his best pieces of work that I've seen. Um, this movie is uh, really good in terms of the fact that it is a romantic drama, but also for the fact that it's uh, really sad, it's really appealing to a lot of uh, people who are uh, politically savvy with uh, terms and the way that the system works. Um, and there's actually kind of moments that, you know, they are kind of heavy handed with a lot of uh, the jokes in this movie. And you'll sit there and you'll, you might be afraid before you go into it that it'll be kind of like some heavy Kelsey Grammer or Dennis Miller type stuff. No, it's still easily understandable for the way that they pay off with uh, the jokes in this movie. And I really appreciate that. Um, basically what this movie about is about is kind of a what if scenario. If, um, uh, there were a president that was in office who happened to be a single father and he decided to, uh, go dating while he's in office. Um, this movie is kind of funny in a lot of ways because of what, not really because it mirrors exactly what took place in the White House after this was made, but for a couple of eerie similarities to this. Um, this came uh, a little bit before the whole Clinton Lewinsky scandal, and just for how long that that was scrutinized in the public eye was ridiculous. And uh, for the fact that Richard Dreyfus plays in this movie and he looks eerily like Dick Cheney when he shows up in this movie. Um, I really need to get to the story. Uh, story is, is that Michael Douglas is playing, uh, President Andrew Shepard, who's getting to the end of his first term, and he's getting ready to run for re-election in the fall. Um, and he's been widowed for a couple of years now. I think he lost his wife to cancer. And, uh, he happens to come across a woman who is a political lobbyist. And her job is to try and uh, shove as much of her, uh, well, maybe maybe that's not the right way to put it. Uh, she's trying to uh, play hardball at convincing people to cast in some votes to pass an environmental bill, which really needs to uh, be lobbied in uh, the House floor. At the same time, he's passing a crime bill, which... Uh, what he's asking for, I think, is fundamentally impossible, and there's a lot of um, stuff that you can sit there and bait back and forth about what would work and what wouldn't work. Um, it's kind of sad that this movie acknowledges with the fact that for all the, the politicking and the stuff that they try and pass in Washington, it does not uh, manage to change much in the course of things. But uh, they they do really good in other areas in this movie, especially with the performances. Um Annette Benning in this movie is the best thing about it. Um, she plays this woman named Sydney who is, uh, actually, she catches the president's eye. And um, not really the best idea for him to want to try and pursue a romantic relationship in the midst of an election year. And there's a lot of people on his uh, advisory staff who lets him know this. Uh, but he, he decides to go and do it anyway. And... The movie is really one of the best representations of a person who is in uh, the media spotlight and has to put up with a lot of the hell of what people think about him. Now, this this isn't really like celebrities or so much more, but this is the fact that he actually is meant to do a job 
and the people will absolutely stress him out over this. Um, if you're sitting there and considering, uh, the, the movie will do a really good job of sitting there and making you think about, uh, kind of, kind of a lot of the shit that the presidents go through. You may not like them. Hell, I have not liked the last three presidents that we've had in office. Uh, I, I will tell anyone straight up that I'm, uh, a middle, very much a libertarian, uh, I don't like either side, mostly because nothing really gets solved in the course of things. Uh, I have really not liked Barack Obama, but at the same time, I can feel a lot of uh, respect for him because this is a job that demands a lot of him, and it really does put a lot of strain on you when you think about that. Um, this really examines a lot of areas. Um, the fact that you have to... Uh, because at one point in this movie, there's uh, a point to where Sidney comes over to the White House for a little dinner date with uh, the president and his daughter. And uh, they're actually, after dinner is done, they're uh, walking around the White House a little bit. And he has to break the date because he has to go bomb, uh, give permission to have a bomb dropped in Jordan. Which is a really heavy subject, and there's a lot of times where he kind of sits there and stresses over what he's about to do. And uh, there's a lot of other areas in this movie that are really um, heavy, and it it does a really good job with it. I keep saying that, but uh, it, it does what it does. Um, at the the charms of how these two get together in the first place is really good. Um. The, the best scenes in this movie are when they're getting together for the first time, um, and especially when he tries to call her up on a date in the first place, I really enjoyed. Uh, but as the movie goes on, uh, both of their backstories start to come out, and there's a particular piece from Sidney's past that gets brought up, and it becomes the major cannon fodder that uh, Richard Dreyfus will use in this movie. Um against her and the fact is is that there's a lot of character assassination and mudslinging going on in this and um she gets justifiably pissed off when it comes to him or actually to Shepard not standing up for her and just trying to ignore uh everything that Bob Rumson is doing in this movie um there's a lot of stuff that goes on to a lot of really good areas, but then there's kind of this really depressing note uh, towards the when it when it gets ready to get to the finality of the third act. You know that point where uh, the movies just go and try and uh, cinch the rag up to milk every ounce of drama out in this movie. Um, there's a really good conversation in between Michael J. Fox and, uh, Michael Douglas about, um, both views of how they feel about the American people. Um, Fox kind of has this idea that, um, you know, we really need to question and, you know, kind of, uh, sit there and scrutinize the president on his job because, you know, we need a leader in some ways. And, uh, there's a really uh, depressing illustration that, uh, uh, Douglas uses in this movie to say, uh, basically we need somebody to tell us what to do because we wouldn't be able to, uh, examine the difference for ourselves. Um, some people can kind of get pissed off at that. And then there are other ways that you can sit there and kind of examine that and really think about how sad that is for us in a way. Um, about how nobody can really make up their minds and try and make their own decisions. And um, it's just a, a really, really good look about how hard uh, Ball Washington is. And it's a really good job in this movie. Um, in areas that they try and convey that people are actually trying to make a damn difference. And in the end, they can't not really get anywhere because of a lot of scrutiny from the public or just a lot of uh, under-the-table deals that go on uh, outside of uh, camera range. Um, this movie is really good. I, th there are a couple of qualms that I need to bring up with it real quick. Uh, and it's, they're just qualms. They're not really complaints. Well, okay, there is one complaint with this movie. Um, 
Richard Dreyfuss is one of the top billed actors in this movie. The character that he plays is touted as being important. He has three or four scenes in this movie, and that totals up to maybe less than three minutes. And I, I really wish that we had had more time. I mean, we, we get enough of his character's motivation, which is that he'll just do anything he can uh, to secure, uh, you know, being able to run for president. Um, the other two things are we get some really good time in between uh, Andrew Shepard and his daughter. Uh, I really like this kid that plays in this movie. Um, and she's also a bit of a smart ass to her father too. Um, <laughs> one of, one of the moments when he goes to visit her in this movie is that she's playing scales on a trombone and, uh, he kind of sits there and kind of, you know, chides her about why she's not excited about history, uh, that she's learning in school. And, uh, he gets ready to walk off from her and she goes and, uh, plays all hell the chief on the trombone as he walks away. And I, I really enjoy that. It's really a charming part of this movie. Uh, the other thing is uh, the character that uh, Michael J. Fox plays in this movie. Uh, he has a really, really good performance in this movie, but when I sit there and look at the character, uh, his character really winds up being nothing more than uh, him playing an adult version of Alex Keaton from uh, Family Ties, which is kind of good. But uh, they, they gave him a different name instead of uh, Alex Keaton, which I, I, I kind of would have liked to have seen him do that just for the hell of it, but I understand why they went the way they, they did. Um, overall, this is a really good movie. I would highly, highly recommend that you check this out. Um, in the same fashion that I say that this is uh, a movie that you really need to see like Devil's Backbone, um it manages to drive me crazy about how good that this movie is. Uh, but it manages to continue to be underrated just because of that one mistake that Rob Reiner made with North. But, uh, if you can track this movie down, check it out and, uh, just have a good time with it. <laughs>